Hi, I'm Prey with Hydro School. Today I thought we'd have some fun and try a special geeks only challenge. Is it possible to create and run a Monte Carlo flood simulation from scratch in under two minutes? Now that might sound impossible, but I'm going to uh, take a stab at it here. So I will share my screen. We'll start a uh, timer here and see how we do. This is live, no speeding up, no pausing, no other cheats. I'm going to hit uh, go on the timer and let's go ahead and start a new project from scratch. So I'm going to call this one MC uh, Monte Carlo. We'll go ahead and say, OK, we want to create that model here. And when we get into RAS Mapper, I'll set the projection. This will tell us where in the world we are. Let's go ahead and accept that. And then I'm going to go ahead and enter in this SRTM satellite based terrain. There it is. Let's see where we are in the world by adding some world imagery. I'll do the Google hybrid here and let's zoom in on this area here and uh, go ahead and create a new geometry. So I will create one. I'm going to call everything MC for Monte Carlo. Uh, it's going to be associated with the first terrain there. I'll start editing it. We'll draw a 2D area, make some perimeters around this. I'll go ahead and zoom in on this area right there. This will be our MC perimeter. I'll leave all the defaults as they are. Let's go ahead and close this out. Save the edits. Let's just check out now where we are in the geometry. I'll open it up here. Open the geometry. This is going to be the MC, the only geometry we've got so far. There it is. Let's add a flow file to it. I'll save this one as well as MC Monte Carlo. And we'll go ahead and just uh, give it an initial elevation of 50 meters. And that will be our start. Let's take this flow file and uh, geometry file, save it as a plan, which we'll also call MC for the short ID as well, also MC. And we'll go ahead and run a few of these and I will give it a date far off in the future. We'll start it at 12 o'clock and run it for an hour, January 2050 at 1300. And we'll go ahead and save and hit go compute. How did we do? Did we get this thing under two minutes? We are pushing the time. It took four seconds to run. Oh, look at that. We have run it. Now, on the two minute mark, let's go ahead and have a look at what we've got. Does this mean anything? Do we really have a Monte Carlo simulation here? A Monte Carlo flood model? Let's grab our results and have a look. See how we did here. I'll fade this back so we can see what happens. If I come back on the opacity, there we are. There's Monte Carlo. It is flooded. We have ourselves a Monte Carlo flood model. This is, of course, uh, today being the Monaco Grand Prix. Um, that's why I've done this one for today. It kicks off in a few hours time. Uh, go ahead and tune in and see what happens if we flood this. Now, this might not be very useful. Um, you know, the lap times do come in under two minutes. So I think we were able to beat that. Not the fastest times there, but uh, so we didn't quite make those, but we came pretty close. Now, this obviously breaks every rule in the book in terms of documentation, model setup, and even model usefulness and practicality. So hydraulic modeling is obviously not a race, but sometimes we can still have some fun with it. Um, I will go ahead here and just show one fun thing that you can do, which is to create a new results map layer. If we make the inundation boundary um, as a map layer, we'll have to go ahead and compute that one. There it is, but once we've got that computed, one fun thing that we can do to this is to export the layer as a 3D KML file. I'm just gonna leave all the defaults as they are. And once that has created, um, we can open up Google Earth and we can take that uh, KMZ file, KMZ if you're here in Australia. Um, if you take that uh, file and open it up, I'll go ahead and pull up Google Earth here, double click on that, and here it is. Now check out Monte Carlo, uh, the Monte Carlo over here. This is Monaco. Um, we can go in here and see the buildings popping out. Um, let's see what happens here for our flood inundation model. Again, we made this one in two minutes flat. Doesn't mean a whole lot, but you can see the inundation boundaries there. So um, this is, again, not necessarily very uh, useful, but if you want to see something a little more practical, I want to pimp your ride here with the HECRAS controller. There are some other kinds of Monte Carlos that you might be familiar with if you're of my vintage. Um, and uh, have a look also at Chris's uh, Monte Carlo webinar that he did for the Australian Water School. So 
with that, I will uh, stop my share um, and uh, wish you uh, well with your heck razzling. So yeah, to all the heck razzlers out there, uh, we'll see you next time. I'll record some more useful videos over the next couple of weeks. Hope you enjoyed that one and hope you get to enjoy uh, maybe watching the F1 race today. With that, we'll sign off. See you later.